a lot of uh, doctors, when they don't know what is causing your pain, and then they take a, an MRI or an X-ray and they see degenerative disc disease, they just chalk it up to, well, you have degenerative disc disease. I'm assuming because you're in college, you are nowhere near old enough to really have uh, end stage progressive degenerative disc disease to the point where it's causing a lot of collateral damage. But even still, where you're having pain doesn't match where you have degenerative disc disease. So if you have degenerative disc disease at T11, T12, usually your pain is going to be, guess what? Over T11, T12, which that is actually uh, uh, basically where your ribs end in your mid back, so at the lower mid back or the upper lower back. If you're getting lower back pain closer down towards your butt, uh, that's not T11, T12, that's probably more L4, L5 area. And then the stuff up in between your shoulder blades, that's kind of T3 through T7. So again, still not near T11, T12. So that's the good news. The good news is, is that uh, this big scary diagnosis that some idiot doctor gave you, I don't think, I mean, it's important to know that you have those structural changes because, uh, you know, strengthening the muscles and keeping active over the years to come is going to be really important for you so that it doesn't progress to something that becomes painful. But uh, I think you can kind of put out of your mind that, hey, your pain is not likely due to degenerative disc disease.